He started a matchmaking program? Yeah, that's a matchmaking tool where we are trying to link up uh, existing farmers who want to share their land on maybe internship or training. Or uh -huh. They just want someone to come and do something on their land. And people who have who are, who are there without the land. So it's an online tool and the farms are mentioned there, what they do. So like I'm interested in doing some livestock and I find this guy who's, who wants someone to come and share the responsibilities with him and then that does that, that's okay. the next step actually. Okay. How many acres is this is this one here? This is about thirty eight acres. This, this is, is actually T R C A land. Okay. And, and, the, and the one in Guelph is uh, oh, that's a that's a three hundred acre a organic farm for the last twenty years. Wow. But we are not using all the land. Uh, my name is Eric Rosencrantz and I'm a partner in Matchbox Garden Seaco. We're one of the organizations who farms on McBean Farm, which is the property we're on today. And uh, we're celebrating the harvest and uh, trying to raise some funds for infrastructure to get this farm really producing. Okay. Uh, my name is Michael Brown, I'm a partner at Perigee Restaurant, uh, which is one of the restaurants in Crosstown Kitchens, uh, which is a group of restaurants across uh, the city of Toronto that have come together just to basically give back to the community and celebrate food, celebrate uh, ourselves right. essentially and um, yeah we're having a good time here. okay so what did um um maybe we talk about how uh how you guys came to to partner up how the uh you know you cross down kitchens came to partner up with the um with the farmers and stuff like that you can explain that well uh i think pretty much it happened organically we started farming uh just for the sake of doing it we knew that the food the food that we were getting wasn't as good as it could be and since we're you know, connoisseurs of good food at the end of the day, we wanted to grow food ourselves. So we went to the market with the food, not really expecting what would happen. And one of the chefs from one of the restaurants involved in this uh, came by and tasted some of our stuff and liked it. And it immediately opened up the doors and we developed our relationship from there. And we've gone along well ever since. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and is it, I mean, how long have you been uh, actually participating in, the, in, in farming, like getting your hands dirty? Well, th this is my first official year of farming. Okay. Uh, I've grown vegetables all my life and I've been landscaping as my trade for a long time. Okay. Uh, but something of this size and caliber I've never done before. So it's been a real adventure and a heck of a learning curve. Too. Yeah. And how is the partnership? So I guess you, I mean, just kind of at a very basic level, you're, you're actually here renting a space on the farm bringing That's your right. vegetables into the city to yeah. uh, to the Trinity Bellwoods market. That's right. Well, one, one of the one of the great things about the situation <laughs> <laughs> is stuff like that. Right? <laughs> one, of the, one of the great actually that's true. One of the great things about the situation is that uh, we completely managed to avoid middlemen in every way. So in the in the in the uh, industry in the culture, there's a lot of people coming together and developing co-ops and things like that, and they're all really good and really useful and uh, really helpful to a lot of farmers. But we happen to be blessed with a farm that's 25 minutes from downtown Toronto. Mm. So for us, it makes the most sense to be involved in every aspect of what happens with their food. And that way our, our clients and customers know what they're getting and know where it's coming from regardless. It's the way food's supposed to be grown, the way it used to be grown, and a really important lost art. Okay. How has how the relationship been for you guys? Um. For us, it's, it's incredible because ultimately we just want the best for our customers to come into our place. Right. Um, so and part of getting the best is getting the best products that you can find and, and, and part of that journey is finding the people who grow the best and, and getting a relationship with them, right. starting a relationship with them and, and uh, growing that relationship. Mm -hmm. um, As appreciators of really good food, it's neat to pull a carrot out of the ground, clean it up, get it prepped for restaurants, ship it off, and it comes back as a cake. Right. And it tastes good, and, you, and, and not only does it taste good, but you can taste your carrot. Because as a, as a farmer, I know the taste of my carrots. And it's, uh, and it's a real pleasure to see them uh, come to. It's like watching a child grow up, I imagine. <laughs>